Mars at 29 degrees Aries, a discussion on the 29th degree in astrology. So today I did a video talking about how transit Mars entered Taurus today, right? And I talked to today, January 6th, 2021. I did a video talking about how transit Mars would be entering Taurus. But the thing is, is that transit Mars didn't officially enter Taurus until about 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So for the most part of the day, transit Mars was at 29 degrees Aries. So I wanted to do a video talking about, you know, what happened as a result of transit Mars being at 29 degrees Aries. And, a, and I wanted to do a discussion talking about the 29th degree in astrology and the importance of studying the 29th degree in astrology and knowing what it means. Okay, so let's talk about it. The 29th degree in astrology. So the 29th degree in astrology represents mastery and urgency. That's what it represents. It represents mastery and urgency. It represents a very critical, important moment because that's right before the planet or luminary changes into the next sign. OK, so the sun and moon are considered luminaries and all of the other planets are considered planets and they all have a specific placement. They're all at all at very specific degrees. So when you have a planet or luminary at tw at the 29th degree, that's a very critical, important moment because that's right before the planet or luminary was about to change into the next sign. If someone has a natal placement in their chart at 29 degrees, that's a very important placement and it needs to be studied thoroughly and deeply. OK, for example, I am a Taurus moon native and it's at 29 degrees Taurus, meaning I was born right before the moon switched into Gemini. OK, so when I was born, the transit moon was in Taurus and right before it switched into Gemini, it was at 29 degrees. And that's when I was born. That's a very important moment. The fact that I was born at 29 degrees Taurus right before it switched into Gemini. It is said that when a person has a personal planet at 29 degrees, that indicates fame. OK, so a lot of astrologers have talked about this and done articles talking about this, how the 29th degree tends to be a fame uh, indicator, right, in a person's chart. And they talk about how like a lot of celebrities, they have personal planets at 29 degrees. The same thing is said when a person has a personal planet at five or 17 degrees. OK, so if you have a planet at five, 17 or 29 degrees, it is said that it's likely for you to go on to be famous one day. All right. So good news. Right. The 29th degree in astrology represents the completion of a cycle and the energy of that cycle reaching its peak. OK, so I talked be talked before about how I was born right before transit moon and Taurus switched into Gemini. So I was born at the peak of that energy, the peak of transit moon and Taurus energy. That's when I was born. I was born at the end of that cycle. For example, another example, transit Mars was at 29 degrees Aries today before changing into Taurus. And we saw protesters storm the Capitol Hill building armed with weapons, which represented the peak of Mars, the planet of aggression and war expressed through anger, impulsive action and violence. Aries, which is ruled by Mars. OK, so this is so important. When I saw this today, I was like, wow, that is amazing. This astrology thing is real. Like this astrology thing is real. If you ever needed proof that astrology is real, how? How amazing is that when that when transit Mars was at 29 degrees Aries, we saw people literally just go crazy and just express nothing but violence and anger and aggression and literally storm the Capitol Hill building armed with weapons. That's literally what what Mars represents. Mars is the planet of aggression and war. Aries is ruled by Mars, which also represents the planet, which also reps represents energy of aggression and war. And then it was at 29 degrees Aries. Transit Mars was at 29 degrees Aries, meaning it had reached its peak. So when we talk about transit Mars, so when it went from zero degrees Aries all the way to 29 degrees Aries, that was a buildup of energy. And when it got to 29 degrees Aries, that was the peak of the energy and we saw it expressed through people going crazy and storming the capitol hill building astrology is real look at your chart to see if you have any natal placements at 29 degrees and truly master that placement okay so this is very important you have to look at your chart and see if you have any natal placements at 29 degrees and truly master that placement for example, let's say you have natal Mercury in Aquarius and it's at 29 degrees in the second house. You need to really master that placement because it was at a very critical, important degree when you were born. OK, so this is very important. Whatever placement you have and it's at 29 degrees, more specifically, if you have a personal planet, meaning like sun, moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars and Jupiter and at 29 degrees, you need to master that placement. OK, because it was at a very critical, important degree when you were born. 
The number 29 when added up equals 11, which is a master number for those that are also into numerology, okay? I also, I happen to be into numerology as well, and it's just so interesting how astrology and numerology, they both intertwine and they're both connected, okay? Because when you add up 29, it equals 11, and if you study numerology, numerology tells you that 11 is a master number, right? So you see how 29 continues to represent mastery. Also, whenever you see a transit planet approaching 29 degrees before changing signs, look out to see how that energy is expressed in your life and, and events. Like, for example, like if you keep up with the transits, if you're a type of person where you keep up with the transits, like you don't just study your birth chart, you also study the transits and you see that a planet is approaching 29 degrees before changing signs like it did today. Right. You saw that today transit Mars was at 29 degrees Aries before shifting into Taurus. Look out in your life and look out to see how that energy is expressed in your life and events. That's everything you need to know. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Take care.